All right. So we have a stone. Let me let me draw a stone real quick. Let me draw a stone. Okay, that's a that's a decent looking stone with a little with little dots here. Okay. It's a decent looking stone. Okay. So a stone is projected at a cliff. This is a cliff, so cliff cliff at a height h with an initial speed of 46.0 meters per second. 46.0 meters per second. And directed 60 degrees, 60 degrees, let me write this in, 60 degrees above the horizontal. And the stone strikes at A uh, 5.5 seconds after la launching. Okay. So, so before we get started, let me just, uh, let me just clarify that, that, um, the numbers in red here are different for you, so just be mindful of that when you watch this video. Okay, just use your numbers instead of mine if you want to get the correct answer. But you can use you can use mine if you want to follow along, and then and then substitute yours in at the end if you want if you want to do that. Um, so I'm going to move these questions down so I can focus on focus on A first. Okay, so. So what do we have here? What do we have here? Okay. Well, the first step is to calculate the. Give me, give me one second, please. Let me let me bring up my calculator. I need to bring up my calculator. Let me let me get my calculator out. Let me get my virtual TI eighty three calculator. We're gonna need it. Just one second. One second for it to pop up. One second. There we go. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, get the. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what, what can we do here? Well, let, let's, let's look at the. Uh, V not V not Y. V not Y is cosine just kidding. Is sine no, it's a uh, forty six forty six forty six sine theta, which is sixty. So like let me let, let let's review what, what I'm doing here real quick. So we have our little let me I can draw a straighter line than that. So we have our little vector here, and 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 this vector has a x component and a y component, and let's call this angle theta, and let's call this let's call this uh, this uh, v uh, or or r, and our x component is going to be r x is equal to our x is going to be cosine. It's going to be r cosine. I, I don't. I didn't mean cosine. So r times cosine of theta, and our y component, r y, is going to be r times sine of theta. Well, that works because of the Pythagorean theorem, but I'm not going to go into that right now. But I just wanted to show you. Where, where I'm getting this from. So V not Y is 46 sine 60. So that's our, our we, we got it from our uh, initial initial vector here. So that's our that's our Y V not component. And let's look at our X V not component. And our X V not component is going to be 46 cosine cosine of 60. Okay, and let me bring our let me bring our calculator. So forty six times sine of we're just gonna do we're just gonna do that. Sine of sixty is thirty nine point eight three. So is equal to thirteen thirty nine point eight three. 
I'm going to store this. Um, um, store. I'm going to store this to uh, Y. Okay. Okay, good, good. Okay, 46 times cosine. So we're, do we're doing V naught X now. So 46 times cosine 60 is going to be 23. 23. Ooh. Equals 23. And, and this is in meters per second. And I better get this stored too. Uh, store Y. Okay. All right. Now let's let's see if we can calculate time. Well, we know we know our acceleration is negative, and and deriving from a v or uh, x chain delta x equals delta x just means um. Change, change in position, so final position minus initial position, and since this height is, uh, well, we don't we don't know the height of the cliff, so let let's try to calculate our uh, change in y. Let's let's ca calculate our change in y first. So we're we're calculating um um how we're calculating the height, the height. So how long or how much or how tall this thing is. And and delta y is gonna be is gonna be equal to h. Okay. Delta y is v naught y, v naught y, t, t. I like using that color for t. Plus, um, plus one half, one half, a t squared. And let's plug our plug in our values. So thirty nine point our v our v not v not y is thirty nine point eight three. Uh, my brother is practicing trombone outside. So if you if you can hear that, just just try to ignore him. Um, so we have five point five seconds. So five point five. Plus, plus one half negative nine point eight. So that's just gonna be minus minus four point nine times t squared, which is gonna be just five point five squared. Okay, so let's just let's try to simplify that. Um, so thirty nine point eight three. Okay, well I I put that as a as a y. So y times 5.5 just gonna plug it into the calculator just plug and chug right here okay so 4.9 okay, I don't I don't know why I have this so 4.9 times 5.5 squared okay so I just typed that in and I got negative 21.7254 I don't think it's right. Hang on. Give me a second here. No, it is it isn't right. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna type it in manually. Twenty-three. Oh, twenty. Th oh, wait. Put it in wrongly. Okay. Okay. I have no idea where these uh these numbers came from. So I'm just gonna do thirty point eight three. I'm just gonna use these numbers. Times five point five. Minus four point nine times five point five squared. Okay, seventy point eight four. Okay, that is much more promising. So, so that that well, I have seventy point nine as my answer. So I'm gonna put seventy nine point four meters, four meters. So the height, so the height is seventy nine point four meters. Okay. Okay, I'm so glad that I found my error. I was like, okay. 
Okay, let's let's do let's do our second part here. Okay. The speed of the stone just before the impact at A. So how 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 in the world do we calculate that? Um let's see. I, got, I think it's really simple because we have our v0x. Our v0x, we, the, the acceleration doesn't change, so it's just going to be vx is 23.0 meters per second. And v0y is just going to be v0y it can, can just be calculated by a equals v minus v0 over t over t so negative 9.8 is equal to you you know this equation this is this is a really simple equation it, it makes intuitive sense too so um so what would what would our final velocity be well let's calculate well we're, we're calculating it so okay so three point or v minus three point eight three 39.83 that's our v initial over time which is uh which is 5.5 .5. so if we just simplify that it's just going to be and you know how to simplify we we know we all know basic basic algebra so i'm just going to go ahead and simplify that so 9.8 times 5.5 .5, and then you add 39.83 so 39.83 i can i can make a better I can make better um, better 39 there. So this should this should be this should be v v equals um, this is 30 39.83. So v is going to be negative 14.07. Okay, my computer is lagging a little bit here. Okay. So negative fourteen point oh seven. So that's v y. So that's v y. Okay. Let me clean that up a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, how how do we calculate the speed? Well, we can just simply do a x a squared plus b squared equals c squared um, to calculate our speed. So let's just do that real quick. So the square root of a, which is 23 squared, plus 14.07 squared. Our negative 14.07 squared is the same thing as 14.07 squared. I got I got the four and the seven mixed up there. So just 14.07 squared. So it's just gonna be 26 point 26 point. Uh, so it rounds to 27. So 27. So our answer here is uh, is 27. 27. 27 meters per second. Meters per second. And our answer here is this. Okay. Okay. And then the maximum height. Well, how the heck do we calculate the maximum height? Okay, well, let's see. Let me bring this down real quick. Okay, well, this is just going to be when y final is equal to zero. So we're just going to set, we're just going to set y uh, v final is equal to zero. meters per second. So we're just going to calculate our time of how, how long it takes for it to, to reach zero. So let me bring our, um, where, where is this? Let me bring our initial speed down. This is our initial speed. So VFY. And our acceleration, our acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. 
So we can just calculate using our this equation right over here. So we're just going to plug and chug. Um, and if you plug and chug, you get this. Let's see. So, so you switch T and A, so you get a, uh, and V final is just zero, so it's going to be negative 39.83 divided by negative 9.8. So because, okay, let me, let me actually write that down. So it's going to be, uh, since V final is zero, so it's going to be zero minus 39.83. And then I switch T and A. So you multiply T on each side and divide A by each side. And you get negative 9.8 here. And then you just divide like that. So it's just 0 cancels out. So you just divide that and you get 4.06. So, so this is equal to T. So T, so T is equal to 4.06. Now, you might be asking, well, why, why do we just calculate for t when we, need, when, we, when we need the height? Well, let's look at our y equation. The, this, this equation, v naught t, v naught y t, plus 1 half a t squared requires us to use our, use our, use a t. Okay. So let's let's plug our val values in. Let's plug our values in. V naught y is thirty nine point eight three times t, which is four point oh nine four four point oh six plus one half a, which is just minus four point nine t squared, so four point oh six squared. So let's simplify that. So 30, 39.83 times 4.06 minus 4.9 times 4.06 squared. So simply you get 81. So, so y is simply 81 meters. That is the maximum height. So that would be the maximum height. Okay.